My name's Dr. Mike Newell. I'm a lecturer in sport and exercise science at the University of Westminster. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can conquer the London Marathon. Over 40,000 runners completed the 2018 edition of the London Marathon, increasing the previous year's record by 768 runners. 2018 was also the warmest edition of the London Marathon to date, which meant 748 runners were unable to complete the event on that day. The marathon's oldest runner completed the event in around 8 hours and 21 minutes at the age of 87. Some people train their entire lives to try and break a specific time barrier, whereas other people are quite happy to just try and get across the line. The marathon remains one of the toughest endurance events that you could undertake. So what does it take to complete the London Marathon? Typically, if you're going from no running to 26.2 miles, then getting in a year of consistent running is going to be the way forward. From here, you can then make 5km, 10km and half marathon events the intermittent goals leading towards the marathon. You can then start to work towards 15 miles and 20 mile runs, which will then set you in good stead over the next five to six months leading into a marathon. At the end of the day, the longer that you have to prepare for the marathon, the better position that you'll be in on the day. Being realistic about your own ambitions and expectations and the amount of time that you have to dedicate towards the marathon is a good place to start. However, when we think about the training considerations that's going to prepare you well for the marathon, then being able to successfully complete the training and the event is the goal we have in mind. This means avoiding injury by not ramping up your mileage too quickly, managing your training volume to avoid burnout and running fatigue, increasing your training load in a manageable and controlled fashion, and being in a position to complete the marathon in a relatively comfortable way. Being able to complete a marathon is a huge physiological undertaking. And even for the world's elite, it doesn't get any easier, you just run faster. In 2018, the average finishing time for males and females was about four hours. That means if you weigh about 75 kilos, that's gonna be around 3000 kilocalories that you're gonna expend during those four hours. So what does that mean? Well, you'll be expending your total daily recommended intake of calories just over the course of the event. This is equivalent to around about three and a half portions of fish and chips, about five and a half hamburgers, or a staggering 200 cups of tea. Or alternatively, you could power an 18 watt light bulb for around about 11 and a half minutes.